That late nineties, early two thousand period. Yep. Um, I'm guessing that's also where you were involved, like battling in DMCs and ITF. Yeah. So my first DMC, I think uh, SA DMC I did was ninety eight. Um, uh, I think I got, I think I got third from memory. Kim Dezen was the guy to beat back then. I looked up to Next, but Next kind of had just stopped kind of competing then and he was more into the judging type of thing and kind of bailed out. So it was Kim and um, Kim and someone um, and dudes like that that were, you know, th at the top, that type of thing. Um, I remember going to the 97 ITFs at the Royal, um, in which, like, um, Kim did really well and... It was like Dexter and someone in, in things like that battling each other mm. and stuff. Um, that was pretty dope. You know, that that was the, one of the competitions, the biggest one that got me fully inspired. You know what I mean? Because it was like someone is like this local cat and he's taken it to the, the national dudes like Dexter. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know, if, I, if the local dudes can do that, I can do this. Mm. And I was looking at their sets going, yeah, this is doable. You know what I mean? I, I want to let me in there, let me in there. You know what I mean? Um, so it was a while yet before I got, you know, got enough skill up. You know, your your head's always bigger than your, your stomach as such. So um, you just go in there and, you know, 98, I competed, I think 99, did well in the ITF. So I went over Madcap and um, um, I think it was Siang um, was the other dude that was, uh, Will, I was living with Madcap at the time. Um, and um, there's another dude called Siang who was a, local scratcher and stuff. He was hanging out with us. He was doing shows with us um, as part of the Break Beast Heavyweights or whatever. We were doing shows, promoting. Um, yeah, we went over to the Hi-Fi Club over in Melbourne or whatever and competed against Jay Rev for the first time and uh, Kuya and all those dudes. Yeah. Um, that was the first kind of taste of going into state and battling. And I, did, I got second then and then we competed in the ITF uh, – Nationals back at here in Adelaide. And yeah, got second right. to second to Kuya in ninety nine. So. so you never clinched that first place. Nah, Kuya close. tipped me, man. I beat um Samurai in the semis or whatever. Um and I t I, I top qualified in the first round and I'm like blew my head out of the water because I thought I'd never get close. And they put me as first in the first round and I'm like literally shitting myself. I was shaking on stage. <laughs> And yeah, no, I got I got all the way to second, but I didn't have the sets in the end. I didn't have the depth of sets because you had to do ninety second battles, and you were doing three three battles or so. So you had ten or so sets. The more you had in your, you know what I mean, in your in your bag, the more you could pull out. Mm. And especially if you wanted to tailor it for someone, you needed to have so much depth of of routines. And I was a little bit green on my routines, you know what I mean. I'd had my good ones, and I was relying on them to get me as far as I got. And then I kind of ran out of steam at the last minute. And and Kuya was just he was he had a better skill than me at that time. He was way way more complex. Mm. So um, yeah, props to him for that. That was pretty pretty good pretty good battles. Those good memories, man. And then how about DMCs? DMCs I did two thousand um, in Adelaide again. I think I got third again. And then two thousand and one I won it in in SA. Mm. So yeah, won two thousand one DMC. Now back in that time. How solid would you say SA was in the turntablism? Yeah, man. Solid. Very. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, Melbourne's always been solid. You know what I mean? They've always had that depth of, um, you know, talent and things like that. Um, I mean, back then, uh, Select was kind of more Perth. He wasn't really Melbourne at that time, uh, early 2000s or whatever. Um, then he moved to Melbourne. Jay Red, obviously, and, you know, those cats over in Melbourne, there was – there's tons of them, Kuya and Dexter and um, Samurai was, you know, still pretty new. You know, he's a young kid basically back then. There was like Decipher and some other cats and Sun and, and uh, a few other dudes and um, out of uh, out of Sydney. Um, but Adelaide had the depth, man. It was mm. good. We had Submine, we had Kim Dezen, had myself. Um, you know, Stain then started. He was like, you know, yeah. he was the one, you know, coming up at that stage. And that dude got good real quick, you know what I mean? From that 2001, he was still a bit light on in his skill. 
And then by 2003, he was burner. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no one was touching him, you know? Um, he just went and just, I think he scratched for a year solid, that dude. So. so I think around the time he came in, you, Kim Dezen. Yeah, like I never really battled much after 2002 yeah. or so. I pretty much kind of bailed out after that. And that was kind of more when I was concentrating more on recording and stuff. Um, it started to come into it a little bit more so. So just judging battles and then I wanted to play more out and then also tour around and, and the crew thing started to come into it a little yeah. bit more. You know what I mean? Like Culture of Kings had dropped and, you know, um, it was before it all popped off heaps, you know, in terms of, you know, the calling dropped or whatever. I think what was calling 2004 or something. Yeah, I think um, 03, 03, yeah, 04, 03, 04 around there. So, yeah, when Left Foot, Right Foot came out or whatever, I was on a track or two of that, I think, or a track of that. Um, you know, Suffered asked me to come into the studios and just scratch on track or whatever. And, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. And, you know, things are starting to move with After Hours as well. And, you know, a bit of, a bit of all the stuff as well was happening. And, you know, it was all around that time I started to get more involved with that. That's the whole Certified Wise yeah. sort of yeah, era. Yeah, that was the, yeah, yeah, that's when the, the, the full-on growth of that era, you know, it just, it just boomed, yeah. The, the, the last thing. Oh, yeah.